Good morning, everybody. Today is laundry day again. I'm hoping for a less eventful laundry day than last week. It's day four of the Daniel fast and my muscles are bothering me today. My back of my neck, all the way down through my back, behind my legs. It's really weird. I'm hoping that goes away soon. Also this morning, I forgot a lot of things. Forgot to turn my crock pot on. I got all of the food in the crock pot, forgot to turn it on. Bummer. I forgot to bring shoes and I've got my muck boots on, which are these awesome things right here. They're for like up to negative 60. So my calves are gonna be sweating today. There's nothing I can do about it. I've got Charlotte with me today. She likes to come to town with us instead of staying at home in the mountains. She pretty much just stays in the car a lot, unfortunately, but for some reason, she likes it. She gets really excited to go. So what do you think, Charlotte? You gonna have a good day in the car? You gonna have a good day? Sleeping? Your eyes look very pretty in the sunlight. I love you. All right, so I'm at the laundromat. I've got three big totes today to do. I put them here in this little carrier and bring them all inside. eight laundry machines and that's not including the load that I'm gonna do at my friend's house tomorrow. Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. I don't know how to get my family to stop wearing so many clothes. So. I have to share this with you. Doing my laundry, folding. I had been there for like three or four hours or something crazy like that. Exhausted at this point. Irritated because there are so many clothes that I'm pretty sure haven't even been worn but it touched someone's body, so therefore it was in the laundry basket. Just in general, just having kind of a down day. The two guys that work at the laundromat, one of them, who sees me every week, hands me a roll of quarters and says, I need to give you this because you spend so much money here and you're one of my best customers and we just really appreciate you, so here's a roll of quarters. Wow. That's awesome. He comes back again later on with another roll of quarters and says that they never have to clean up after me and that my kids are the best behaved kids that he's ever seen. Anyway, I just had to share because that was just super sweet. Lifted my spirits. So it's day five on the Daniel Fast and guess what? I feel amazing. I woke up this morning and I just woke up. No coffee necessary. I just woke up and I felt amazing. I felt awake and my body doesn't hurt. I feel awesome. And I am reminded of why coffee is poison. I just do not understand why I always put myself in this place. Why do I do this? Why do I get back to my desperate need for coffee to survive? because right now I feel awesome and I just don't understand why. Just wanted to share. There definitely is some good stuff when it comes to doing the Daniel Fast. Also, today we get to stay the night in town at a hotel. So that's cool. Uh, we used our points from our hefty credit card. We have lots of points on our credit card because we've spent lots of money on our credit card. The points probably don't balance out the interest on our credit card. We got to get a hotel room, actually two hotel rooms, an adjoining two hotel rooms, so that's nice. And we're gonna board Charlotte at the vet. Just kind of have a fun night in town. That's a little different for us. Should be fun. So we are at a hotel tonight because the company that I've been working for is doing a Christmas party in January. So we're gonna get together with a bunch of my coworkers. Should be an awesome night. And we have not only one, but two, two. rooms. So the girls have an adjoining room to ours 
So we get a little, we actually get a room to ourselves for a night, which is amazing. And the girls get to go to the pool and play and have a great time. So how do you feel about having a nice catered dinner while we're on our Daniel fast? It's pretty much terrible. <laughs> I'm not excited at all. I actually wanted to have a mulligan tonight. And are you going to be good? Not eat Daniel are fast you, food tonight. Are you going to be good? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be good either. Yay. So honey, how did you do with the party? Um, it was a little rough because I didn't know a bunch of people's names. We just like stood there and acted like we were greeting everybody walking I was, in. I was referring to the Daniel Fast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We were good. Pretty good. We did pretty good. <laughs> you did not have meat. That's true. I really wanted a piece of prime rib. It's very sad me. Yep. Everybody else is eating prime rib and drinking stuff and yeah. Shut it off. <laughs> so we're picking up our dog Charlotte and she's gonna be super excited to see us. She did not want to be boarded last night while we're staying at the hotel in town. Well, this is gonna be loads of fun. Was that terrible? Oh. Yeah. You're okay. Come here. Let's give you a hug. Mm. Oh. She's a lot sadder than I thought she would be, which makes me feel really guilty for making her go there. Yeah. She kind of gave us her usual greeting, and then she's kind of been crying ever since. So yeah. she, was, she has very sad eyes right now. Yes. She might be traumatized a little bit. So girls, how was it staying at a hotel last night? Awesome. The breakfast was very disturbing. Cereal, milk, bread, toast, everything that we cannot eat. Juiciness, happiness. My hair got really soft when it was dry and we got to watch TV after swimming. We left our key in the pool so we had to get our mom to open the door for us. Did you guys enjoy having running water? Was that nice? Yes. Emma, did you like having a toilet that flushed? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I thought it was nice. How about you, Sarah? Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Sarah! Hi. Okay. The bathroom. This cool sliding door that we have now that my dad installed. You come in. We have, eventually we'll have a porch out here. That's why we have a door and sink um, so we can wash our face or our hands or whatever in there but the interesting stuff we have a pee bucket and a poop bucket this is where our toilet paper goes um after we go and then with the pee bucket my mom has to carry it down the stairs and then she goes far far away from here and she dumps it out in the snow because you don't need to compost it or anything it's basically already good enough for the ground if there's no toilet paper but um sometimes there is and that's unfortunate um toilet paper what happens if there's toilet paper in the pee bucket somebody grabs a fork and scoops it out yeah and <laughs> yeah there's a poop bucket and after we go we have to cover it with ash or sawdust or whatever we have in this bucket so that it basically 
absorbs the moisture and makes it so that eventually it will be composted. So, and then once that's full, my mom has to take it outside, she slaps the lid on it, and then she puts it somewhere until summer when she's gonna figure out what to do with it and all the other buckets that are out there. And we can use it for composting for gardening or we can use it for whatever we need to use it for. Or we can um, pour gasoline over it and light it on fire and be done with it. Or that. <laughs> and then once this is full, we just um, tie the trash bag and then we take it outside and burn it with the rest of our trash. All right. Thank you, Cora. Need help? <laughs> Who's this, Sarah? Thomas. Is she your little baby girl? <laughs> Even though it was really nice to spend a night in a hotel and have running water and flushing toilets, we're really happy to be home. Subscribe, 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 and like this video. Thank you.